I was maybe 12 when I first saw The Third Man, the noir classic set in a post-World War II Vienna bursting with expressionist atmospherics and jaunty amorality. Ever since, I've been drawn to tales set in the wake of historical turmoil. You get juicy stories when individuals, and whole societies, must deal with the guilts, losses and compromises they'd rather not think about. The ghost of violence past haunts bloodlands, a new thriller set in a present-day Northern Ireland still struggling to rebuild a sense of normalcy in the aftermath of what's known as the Troubles. Written by Chris Brandon, this four-part original series from the Acorn TV streaming service was produced by Jed Mercurio, whose hugely popular shows, such as The Bodyguard and Line of Duty, are notorious for having more twists than a rattlesnake farm. Bloodlands is more restrained, but trust me, it serves up a couple of lethal doozies. Although you can follow the action without knowing the historical backstory, it helps to remember the basics. Starting in the late 1960s, Northern Ireland lived through a de facto civil war between Catholics and Protestants, and the violence killed many thousands of its citizens. The conflict ran until the Good Friday Agreement of 1998, which brought about an uneasy peace in a small, intimate land where nobody was left untouched by bloodshed. Bloodlands begins 20 years after this truce when a car is fished from Strangford Lock with what seems to be a suicide note in it. Assigned to the case is bottled up police detective Tom Brannock, James Nesbitt, and his partner Neve, well played by the sympathetically offbeat Charlene McKenna. Tom spots a connection between this note and an unsolved case, and not just any unsolved case. This case, which dates back to the Troubles, involved an assassin nicknamed Goliath, who had ties to the police and who killed several people, including some who were close to Tom. Just as Tom and Neve begin reopening the Goliath case, they're ordered to stop by Tom's old friend, and police higher up, Jackie Toomey, who's come down from Belfast to take charge of things. Played by Lorcan Cranich, an actor who could give seminars on seeming slippery, Jackie worries that digging into the past might shatter the precarious peace. Predictably, this doesn't slow down Tom, who's obsessed with burying Goliath once and for all. 